up to a uh, punk album to be uh, misfiled. Man, I couldn't find this album at first. This is my favorite punk album, Richard Helen the Voidoids, Blank Generation. And uh, when punk first started, whenever that was exactly, I was around 26 and uh, I wasn't really supposed to like punk music. But I like punk music and I got a, quite a few records leading up to punk, like uh, New York Dolls and all that stuff. And in two, this was 1977 and this is, the, uh, this is the anthem for punk rock as far as I'm concerned, the blank generation. When the punk started, uh, society uh, was like ready to crumble because of the weight of uh, punk music. Like the Sex Pistols were mouthing off and doing all kinds of sort of neat things but not to the main society, but uh, it was like everything was going to crumble because of uh, punk music. I mean, how ridiculous. It's like when Elvis started shaking his hips and oh, we can't have that, right? It's like a, a new generation of uh, shaking your hips in a different way. So uh, this album is uh, full of great songs. Love Comes in Spurts is the first song. and. Uh, You'll hear a little bit of it here, but it's passing by the uh, censors or whatever, not censors. And uh, there's not a bad song on here. Trail takes two, did it two. Now, the guitar player on this is Robert Quine. I think that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not sure. But when I heard his guitar playing, I thought, wow, do I ever like this guitar player playing? His style is totally... Uh, different than just about everybody else's. He was uh, in the uh, voidoids and he had he was bald. He was in his 30s at the time. He had a beard and bald head and man can he play. He went on to play with Lou Reed for a couple albums and uh, I was into Lee, Ru <laughs> Lee, Lee Rude. Uh, Lou Reed so I uh, definitely followed him into uh, Lou's band for a while and uh, this is definitely my favorite punk band, Richard Hell and the Voidoids, Blank Generation. I couldn't find any safety pins to put in my nose or on my ears and I got a CBGB's t-shirt and uh, actually Richard Hell was in television before Richard Hell and the Voidoids and he was a, a poet and uh, he played bass in television and they were one of the first bands of that type to play at CBGB. So uh, that's a little tidbit of information. Then he went on to form uh, to form this band. But uh, if you haven't heard this album and you're a punk fan, it sort of started right about here with this kind of music. I mean, Blank Generation is classic punk. <laughs> Even if they didn't want to be called punks or whatever, I love this album. Still listen to it. And I actually have the Mini Me here, the little Mini Me disc of it. And uh, got kind of a crappy cover. It doesn't have the original cover on it, but uh, this is the uh, mini-me of Blank Generation. It's got all the same songs on it, of course, but uh, oh yeah, the back. Oh, you gotta see the back. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just pull out the record just for the hell of it, because I don't usually pull Oh, it's got lyrics. It's got a lyric sheet, and it's got a bunch of punky pictures, of course. And it's got a record in it. It actually has a record in it. Look, a vinyl record, and it's on Sire or GRT, what do you call it? GRT of Canada, distributed by GRT of Canada, but that is Sire. Sire label. On the oop. Oh, 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 you can have a punk album, you guys went upside down. Alright, that is uh, my little spiel on uh, my favorite punk album. And uh, so long. Upside down. Wow. It works upside down, doesn't it? Like it oh, upside down. There's the band. Upside down. Where the blood is still fresh and the thought of some heart.